So in this video, we're going to transform a relatively boring looking shot like this and turn it into this as part of a new series that I'm calling 60 Second Suggestions. If you're setting up a YouTube channel but don't have too much of an understanding about filmmaking, this video has been made to show you how you can instantly improve the quality of your videos, especially if you have an environment such as this one where you'll be spending the majority of your time filming. The key to improving the quality of your videos is by introducing consistency. And with consistency, you have a lot more control over what you make. And in my opinion, there are three main ways to do this. The aim of 60 Second Suggestions is for me to highlight and describe the main benefits of each tip that I give within that space of time. Each, not together, that'd just be mental. So before we begin, let me reset all of the techniques and settings that I'm currently using now, so we're then using the camera back in its most basic form. I already don't like it. Let's stick a timer in the corner and get this shot looking nice again. We'll start with what is still important, but probably the least essential of the three, and that is your audio. For an environment like this, where there's not too much going on around me, I can afford to manually control my audio levels, rather than relying on auto levels, which with some cameras still tries to find noise even when there isn't any noise there. Don't rule out auto levels completely though, because it can come in handy for those who film on the go and don't have time to worry about their audio. If you are one of those people, I do encourage you to invest in what's known as a directional mic. This is what an external directional microphone placed on top of my camera camera sounds like. And this is what it sounds like when using a professional mic that's just out of frame. So it's literally there. Having this option, which is the one right out of frame, works for setups such as this. However, if you are a vlogger, having a directional mic on top of your camera might seem the most appropriate solution. Next up, we have camera settings. And just like the audio, relying on automatic settings for your camera could increase the risk of your device constantly changing its settings. Therefore, for environments such as this one, set your camera to manual exposure, which means all of your settings, including your ISO, will remain the same and consistent throughout the video. If your ISO is constantly on automatic, this can make your footage start to look noisy, depending on the low light performance of your camera and the environments that you're shooting in. If you also shoot with a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, then I advise you shooting with a shutter speed that's double your frame rate. And I'm also shooting at f4 to provide a little bit of depth of field in the background so I stand out a little bit more. So at the moment, our audio and our video are controlled. However, you'll still be looking at this going, well, that looks nothing like it did at the beginning of the video. That is why lighting, in my opinion, is one of the most important factors when taking your videos to the next level. You can own a £50,000 camera, but if you don't use lighting of any level, your footage could still look rubbish. Right now, I've had to set my ISO to 10,000, just so I'm exposed correctly for the environment that I'm in. But by introducing lighting, I can then in turn reduce the ISO to a cleaner level and it will make the subject, which in this case is me, stand out more from the background, which reminds me, all of this, if done correctly, will result in more natural will result in more natural looking skin tones. And that is another huge way of improving the quality and professionalism of your videos. The reason that we use artificial lighting like this is because we need to make sure that the exposure of the environment that we are filming remains consistent. If you're currently relying on a window as your only light source and the sun either comes out or goes behind a cloud, then comes the risk of occasionally over or underexposing your footage. This is where some people might think, well, I'll just go back to using auto settings on my camera so I'll always be exposed. And yes, at first that does seem fair enough, but as we're wanting to create a professional look in our videos, we need to start practicing what the professionals also do. Your camera settings and your lighting work hand. What's that, what's that off? work hand in hand and I can promise you that the majority of successful YouTubers use lighting in their videos and will indirectly play a part in the success of their channel due to its consistency. Whether it's a simple on camera light, a ring light, some budget friendly LED panels or more professional lighting such as this, that element of consistency will hands down make your videos look more polished. How did we do? You know what, for a first time attempt, I'll take that. We covered a lot of stuff then within a short space of time. However, if you do take my advice on board, don't just assume that you have to go out and buy everything straight away. For the first few months of this channel, I relied purely on using natural light as my light source. After a while, I was getting fed up of the constant exposure changes in the videos. Then once I felt that it was the right time from both a development and a financial point of view, I gradually invested in lighting and then finally audio. For anyone who's new to the channel, I am a freelance filmmaker and that may be why some of the equipment that I've mentioned in this video might initially be out of your budget. 
However, I'm hoping that from my experience so far, I can then advise on equipment or techniques up to that level that I'm currently at. But hopefully there were still some tips in this video to help you start your journey into making more professional or quality YouTube videos. Do let me know if you like this style of video and also if you have any other name suggestions for 60 second suggestions please, please let me know because I can't keep that going for long. But until next time, guys, as ever, take care and I'll see you next week.